by your companions. They cannot see what you see anymore. I have interrupted the feed and taken control of some of your motor responses. You cannot leave this place until I permit it. There are some writers that would find it very difficult working with another writer. Uh, for me, you know, I, I find it a real pleasure because um, Simon and I have complementary um, but also contrasting interests, which actually, instead of causing differences, actually kind of fleshes out the characters really, really well. And because we're looking at quite morally complex areas as well as characters, um, it's really exciting to have lots of contrasting viewpoints not only of the characters, but actually as writers as well. So, um, you know, and, you know, I'm the, um, the, the less experienced member of the team in terms of novel writing. One of the great pleasures of working on Playing With Death has been that it's given me an opportunity to work with Lee Francis, who was one of my former students. And right from the get-go, I was really impressed by his work ethic and his flair for kind of creative thinking. Now, we stayed in touch and... Um, when we came up with the idea for playing with death, then Lee and I uh, sort of sat down and, and worked this out. And we weren't quite sure how this was going to uh, work in terms of working on a co-writing a novel. I've co-written a film script with my brother before, but I've, I've co-written with um, a historical novel with uh, another friend of mine. But I haven't yet written a, a thriller or anything quite as challenging as playing with, playing with death. So this was a bit of a, a, an experiment for me. Yeah, I was certainly daunted by having to write alongside you know, a best-selling author such as Simon. Um, but the process was really um, you know, great in terms of sharing ideas um, and the workload was shared between us. Um, you know, so we'd, we'd collaborate very intensely in terms of outlining where things are going. Because some writers maybe start with a blank page, but because this project is so huge in terms of um, where it's set, you know, America, which is you know at the forefront of a lot of modern technology developments. Um, you've got a number of huge locations. Uh, you've got a big cast of characters. Plot twists and things only really happen when you've planned them. So for us, really, the key has been to start with a roadmap of where the story is likely to go, and that way we can keep track of what the characters are doing. Now that doesn't mean that um, you know we start and literally just follow that slavishly. Uh, sure, we've deviated a number of points to really make the impact of a twist or really mine a character development. So we don't stick to it verbatim, but it certainly helps having a skeleton, absolutely. Now, initially, um, I was a bit concerned also that um, if I simply submitted this to my existing editor, then there would be a danger that she would be thinking with, you know, with her kind of historical fiction head on and wouldn't necessarily get the point of playing with death. So what I did was I told my agent to, I wrote the first uh, 15,000 words of the manuscript and said to my agent, could you send this in to the publisher, but not to my editor, to a different editor, but don't say that it was me that wrote it. Um, let's see how, how um, uh, somebody reacts to this in a, in a kind of neutral way. And the thing that came back, and I was delighted to hear, was that um, Playing With Death was the most frightening thing this editor had ever read. So we're on to a good thing there. So once that was established, Lee and I then um, sat down to write the, the rest of the book. And the way it kind of works is I wrote the 15,000 words to have sort of establish the house style and then gave it over to Lee. Lee would then come back, <coughs> having written some of um, a big, big chunk of text, which then I, then I would edit, add more stuff to, send it back to Lee and so on. So it was constantly going backwards, forwards and between the, uh, the two of us. And one of the real pleasures of working with another person on a book, especially someone who is very, very kind of complementary to the way that you think and perceive the world, um, is that you kind of bat ideas about and you say, well, what if, you know, they'll say, you know, you read something that they've written, you say, well, what if we do it slightly like this instead? And they go, yeah, that's really exciting. And then the same thing applies the other way around. I might write something and Lee says, yes, but what if we twist it this way or we add that bit to it? And so it's been a very, very um, cooperative and creative experience to write the thing. And it's been huge fun. And I'm really looking forward to getting started on the second book.